what's going on? It's your girl Godly. A little bit of gameplay info for you guys. I'm playing Kill Confirmed on Overflow. I actually never get good gameplay on this map, but for some reason the stars aligned and I actually did well. Now the kids end up actually calling me <laughs> like a cheater, or hacker, booster, whatever. But anyways, I wanted to talk about today expectations for the new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now as you know, it's going to be developed by Sledgehammer. So I basically just wanted to go over my opinions and thoughts and things that Sledgehammer needs to do in order to make the next Call of Duty successful. Alright, first and foremost, it's got to be a completed product. The last couple of Call of Duties I feel have completely dropped the ball, especially Call of Duty Ghost. Now, with Treyarch and Black Ops 2, I felt like they were the only ones who could mess up a game more than they fixed it, especially with their patches. But like with Sledgehammer, I'm saying you've had since MW3, so essentially you've had three years, so this should be a completed product. I hope that they listen to the consumers. I hope that they paid attention to some of the things that we said to Treyarch and that we said to Infinity Ward. So let's talk patches and guns. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, patches were actually meant to make the game better. But for the last couple of Call of Duties, the only thing that patches have done is go back and fix the things that should have been fixed from the very beginning. It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to make the game better. You're not supposed to have a patch just in order to go back and fix the stuff that you messed up on. Guns. Let's talk balance. I don't want to spend another year listening to people complain. <laughs> All right. We've got to figure out some kind of happy medium from snipers and SMGs. Now, for those of y'all who don't get it, snipers are meant to be a one-shot kill. So, you know, there's only so much tweaking you can do, and then you take away from that aspect. So, but like I said, we've got to figure out some kind of happy medium because I don't want to spend another year listening to it. So we've got to figure out some kind of balance. Now, you know this is supposed to be set in the future. What exactly can we expect since it's set in the future? I'm not really sold on the whole futuristic thing. I don't understand why we just can't keep it modern. Now, for Nuketown 2025, we ended up dealing with a whole bunch of target finders, IEDs, just stuff that I was not completely happy with. So what exactly are we looking at as far as futuristic Call of Duty? Are we looking at nano suits? Are we looking at robots and drones? I'm not wanting a superpower Spider-Man crisis super soldier kind of game. I'm wanting another Call of Duty. I want a great first person shooter. I don't want a whole bunch of technology involved, you know? Now rumor had it in the beginning that this Call of Duty was actually going to be set back in what? World War One or World War Two, And I was so excited because I was like, okay, back to the basics. But this isn't the first time that we've actually heard this. I know that we heard this on Call of Duty Ghost. But like I said, I think the last Call of Duty, the last two Call of Duties actually have kind of dropped the ball. I wasn't too happy with Black Ops, you know, Black Ops 2, but I felt like it was a better game than Call of Duty Ghosts. There's just nothing that's appealing whatsoever Call of Duty Ghosts. But I don't want this to turn into a whole bunch of robots and drones. Essentially, I'm not looking to play Titanfall, you know? If I wanted to play Titanfall, I would. But I was excited about the back to the basics kind of thing. Now I knew, you know, it wasn't going to be this whole little pull a tripwire on a claymore or low drone musket, you know, type of thing. I knew it wasn't going to be like that. But I didn't want something that was just kind of overpowered with all of these, you know, attachments and perks and, you know, advanced technology kind of thing. You know, I was looking for something that's just kind of modern. So I know a lot of people complain and, you know, that people basically just want another Call of Duty. And all they do basically is just change the name every year. I do want something different, but I'm not looking for a whole, you know, futuristic, advanced technology kind of thing. So, but as always, we're never really going to know anything until the multiplayer is revealed. So I think that's probably going to be in June or July. I haven't, heard, you know, exactly heard any info, but last year it was revealed, you know, when the Xbox One was revealed. So, I don't know, it should be pretty soon, but like I said, you don't really know anything until the multiplayer, you know, is revealed. Um, as far as looking at the trailer and stuff, there wasn't that many things that you could really take from it. Um, I'm not too keen when the dude's climbing up the wall. <laughs> I'm not too keen on that, but like I said, the trailer really doesn't ever tell anything. You never really know. It's kind of like a movie preview. It's either really good or really bad. And then the movie itself or the game itself is really nothing like the trailer. Like I said before, that may be solo or it may be the campaign, but you never know anything until the multiplayer is revealed. So I'm hoping that it's going to be, you know, something different from Call of Duty Ghost or even Black Ops 2. I would rather keep it along the lines of Black Ops 2 because Call of Duty Ghost was just horrific. But I don't want it to be 
a whole bunch of target finders and IEDs and, you know, a bunch of advanced technology. I just wasn't too keen on the kill streaks and I don't know. We just kind of have to wait and see. But like I said, I don't want to see a bunch of drones or robots. If, if that was the case, then I would just play Titanfall. So I don't know. Like I said, I just wanted to kind of basically go over my expectations for Call of Duty, um, you know, for the next Call of Duty and let you know what my opinions are and what exactly does Sledgehammer need to do in order to make this successful. Like I said, I'm hoping that it's not all advanced and not all set and futuristic and you know, I'm not looking for a super-powered crisis kind of game. I'm looking for a great first-person shooter, and I'm looking for another great installment for Call of Duty. So, anyways, guys, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. What does Sledgehammer need to do in order to make this game successful? That's what I got for you guys. Till next time, peace out.